What's up, y'all? It's your boy D. White. Let's talk a little bit about gym etiquette. And this is applicable for classes, it's applicable for group training. It's really applicable for anywhere you're going to work out. It's going to be other people working out with you. All right. So I got about seven, eight topics that I need to discuss that seem to be common sticking points among people who go to the gym. Now, I do my own training, but occasionally uh, I'll go to LA Fitness, especially when I'm traveling or from a different part of town. I'll, I'll go from somewhere I need to, you know, take a shower or something like that. Uh, you know, I do have a gym, a LA Fitness gym membership. So there are a few things that I've noticed and a few things that seem to be common that I wanted to address. So if you're looking to get into the gym or if you go to the gym, these must be some things you want to consider, all right? Number one, what do you have on, all right? That's the first thing that you got to consider when you're going to work out, all right? I understand, you know, you want to look good when you do this stuff. Obviously, your appearance is important to you, which is why which is why most people are working out. You wanna, you wanna look and feel good about your body, your self-esteem, your self-confidence, but there's gotta be a line somewhere. Like there shouldn't be butt cheeks hanging out and all kind of cleavage showing and you know what I'm saying? Like, and then dudes, you know, I, want, I don't wanna see your nipples, you know what I'm saying, with your stringer tops on. That's just ridiculous. Or, or man junk hanging out, you know what I'm saying, some little tight booty shorts. Like, that's not cool, man. So please be mindful of what you have on and realize that people are there. You know, they might not be trying to look at you, but you come in there looking all crazy. It's, it's hard not to notice that you're looking, that, you, that you're just trying to garner too much attention. All right? So just keep that in mind. Number two, don't be stinking. All right. Whether it's early in the morning or late in the evening, two things you want to avoid, or well, three things you want to avoid is mouth stank, booty stank, and clothes stank. All right. And so mouth stank is obvious, man. You know, you gotta. Uh, and usually that's not a problem unless you're talking. So if you're not really talking at the gym, you keep your mouth closed and just work out. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Spend a lot of time talking. They might want to pop a man up or something up in there just to make sure you're not being offensive to anybody. Booty stink. And I say booty stink, but it could be anywhere in your body that's a little bit, you know, a little bit tired. Might be if you're at the end of a long day, depending on your type of job, if you work with manual labor type stuff, you might need to take a quick jump in the shower right quick, rinse off or something, or refresh your deodorant or something at the end of a long day before you go up in the gym. If you see people slowly moving away every time you're coming around, chances are you might have a little booty stank on them. All right, clothes stank. Don't wear your gym clothes two, three, four days in a row. And make sure you put plenty of washing powder up on them things. Maybe even an extra little fabric softener and then one of them little dryer sheets or something in there for a little extra odor protection. Sometimes men I realize, but it's just your clothes stinking. You know what I'm saying? So you just need to wash them. Keep all your gym clothes. I put all mine in, in a pile together and I put two pods and some fabric softener up in there. I'm a trainer, man. I can't be all up in people's face stinking. So please keep that in mind. Number three. Uh, clouds of death. All right, so a cloud of death is like when well, you're at the gym, right? And your stomach got bubble guts. So, you, you know, stomach bubbling around a little bit. So you go find an open spot in the gym, let out silent but deadly, stake up the whole corner of the gym. And then you just walk away. <laughs> so some some, unsuspect, some unsuspecting gym goer is going to be like, oh, man, this side of the gym is open. And they're going to go over there thinking they're about to get their, about to, about to kill some weights and they're gonna walk right into your cloud of death and suffocate that's not cool man just go to the bathroom handle your business get all of it out your system and then get back to working working out all right number four is 
booty sweat. All right, so let's say you're working out. You know what I'm saying? You got some erogenous zones in your body that are going to be that carry more heat than others. Your armpits, uh, your feet, probably one. Your crotch is definitely one. So it's going to be one of the first places to sweat. So even if you're not sweating in other places on your body, booty sweat is going to be the first thing to happen. You know, when you're kind of sitting there, you get up, there's that little mist, a little kind of moisture sitting right there. That's concentrated booty sweat. <laughs> booty sweat. So you need to wipe that up, man. Because somebody might come behind you and use that bench and put their face on your concentrated crotch and booty sweat. Okay? So even if you don't really sweat, just get the little towels and stuff and wipe up after yourself. Because it's not cool for somebody who is getting like pink eye or some face infection from your concentrated booty crotch sweat because you didn't wipe the equipment off. All right? That's just not cool. All right? Number five, this is gonna be a 5A and 5B, all right? 5A is, don't be talking on the phone or taking selfies or sitting there chit-chatting with your, with your homie and taking up people's equipment. Be mindful of the equipment that people are trying to use. Don't be sitting there texting and, and then talking on the phone or switching your iPod for 15 minutes people trying to use the equipment that you're trying to use or sitting on the equipment and taking selfies like you're working out. If you spend more time taking selfies or if you take more selfie reps than you do actual weightlifting reps, you failed your workout. And I've seen people do this before and that's just not cool. And if you got a workout partner, y'all, if you can't talk and lift at the same time, then that's not a good workout partner. Y'all are wasting each other's time. Y'all are degrading each other's workout. So please don't do that, especially when you're taking up equipment. If y'all want to talk, go stand over somewhere in a common area that's not being used and go ahead and get your chit chat on. But don't be standing around talking and using equipment, especially when you see people standing around wanting to use it. All right, 5B is, bro, ain't nobody paying you no attention. So don't be making all kinds of grunt and yelling sounds to do one rep, one half a rep that you can't even really control the weight. I'm not talking about Planet Fitness, Lunk Alarms, tiptoeing around the gym type stuff. If you breathe at all, they kick you out. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people that are excessively loud to garner attention. Or people who are lifting too much weight, so they gotta make all this noise just to pick the weight up, can't control the weight, then they gotta throw the weight on the ground because they can't control the weight enough to just place it on the ground. If you can't, pick the weight up under control, do your reps, put the weight down under control, the weight is too heavy, period. All right, number six, no commando. Don't be walking around butt behind naked in the locker room with no towel, no, no, thread of any sort to be found anywhere. Just some flip-flops. Don't nobody want to see all your business just hanging around freely in the in the freaking locker room. I mean, what you doing? I mean, if you're going to take a shower, don't you need to dry off or something? If you're going in the, sh in the sauna, don't nobody want your booty sweat all on the seat in the sauna because you're guaranteed to be sweating. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what are you doing? Put some clothes on, bro. There's mostly older people because they just act like it's a nudist colony up in the locker room. That's not cool. Cover yourself up. Bring a towel or some extra clothes just to put on when you're walking around. And be mindful of other people, man. Don't nobody, don't nobody want to see you just walking around all commando and stuff. Keep that in mind, please. All right, I think that's about it, man. I'm sure there are some other offen offenses in terms of being in the gym, man, that you guys may have seen. So if you've seen one, put it in the comment section. Reply to us on Facebook. Let us know the kind of transgressions that you've seen at the gym. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying stuff that's invasive on other people's workout. If they're staying to themselves uh, and it's not being offensive, don't be a nitpick type person. But some of this stuff is just unreasonable and it goes too far. Got to draw the line somewhere. But anyways... 
I'm a little delirious. I was up till 3 a.m. driving the baby around trying to get her to go to sleep. So I figured I'd make a, a video on gym etiquette just so people know what time it is. Be mindful of your body odor, man, please. Because everybody going to... If you work out hard enough and you sweat, eventually you're going to stink at some point. But don't be stink. Don't show up to the workout. You're already a little tart. You know what I'm saying? Be mindful of the other people around you, please. All right? Anyway, that's the video for today. I'll let y'all the next video. Holla back.